When you've been waiting on an answer from the Lord that he's spoken to your spirit, you must go to a high place. You cannot be low where common people are, where they are putting uh, seeds of doubt in your head and in your ears, trying to tell you that the promise that you heard in your spirit will not come to pass. Stay with me right here. You cannot be around the type of people and the individuals that are speaking into your spirit negative thoughts and making you second guess what you know you heard in your spirit. You have to go to a high place. No matter what it takes, if you got to separate from friends, if you got to separate from family, if you have to isolate yourself, thank you, Holy Spirit. Some of you all, God has put into a season of isolation to get you away from familiar voices because you're so used to hearing their voice, you don't recognize God's anymore. And God is saying, I need you to get to a high place. I need you to go so high that you don't hear nobody but me. Get every filthy imagination out of your spirit. Get your old way of thinking out of your spirit. Get your old denomination out of your spirit. Get traditionalism out of your spirit. God God's about to do a new thing, and if you're going to get the answer, the answer is not down here, it's up there. I got to go higher. I got to go higher. Even though I don't feel like going higher, I got to go higher. Even though I don't, f- even though I feel like laying down and dying, something in my spirit won't let me rest. I can't get no sleep. I can't get comfortable. I'm trying to go around my old friends and we can't even dive right. I get to the family reunion and I'm literally the black sheep of the family. Nobody understands me. They're saying one thing and I'm saying another. They're talking about one thing and I'm talking about another. They're talking about the past and I'm talking about my future i got to get to a high place i can't stay here no more i can't live here no more i gotta change my address get up get 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 if the elevator's broke baby take the stairs and get up to where god has called you to be I gotta go higher, I gotta go higher, I can't stay here. If I, if I stay here, it's gonna be a hot mess. If I, if I stay here, I will never be in the will of God. If I, if I stay here, thank you Holy Spirit, not just here physically, here mentally, here emotionally, here spiritually, I can't stay here no more. I can't let the enemy continue to bombard me with thoughts of what I did five years ago. I got to get up out of here. I gotta get my psychological mind out of here. I gotta get my spiritual mind out of here. I gotta get my emotional mind out of here I gotta break this soul tie and get out of here I ain't been in the arms of a man in five years and I'm still thinking about him the devil is a lie I got to get up out I got to get up if I don't get up it's gonna be a problem if I don't get up this the solution's not gonna make sense if I don't get up I'm gonna continue to grow older without ever going forward because I spend too much time living and wallowing in my past I got to get up and go to the high place I can't hear God correctly and it's starting to get me confused and for the last two years I've been noticing I'm walking around in a circle and everybody else is getting blessed but me and the only difference between me and them is my position they're up I'm down I'm going up that ladder I do not care if I got to tie a rope with a grappling hook and pull myself up no matter how I get there I got to go When you go high, expect to be alone. We throw in tantrums as children of God. And, and God, I'm alone and you don't send me nobody. I'm alone. And you, you, don't, you don't have time to be around nobody right now. You're waiting on an answer. Oh, God. See, people, people that know that know the position in life right now and know why God has them in this season knows that they're waiting on an answer. I've been waiting my whole life for an answer. I've been waiting my whole life for an answer to this situation. I need to know why I went through that as a child. I need an answer. I need to know why I grew up without a father. I need an answer. I don't have time to mess with you. I don't have time to try to replace the father figure that I did not have. I need an answer. I don't need you. I need an answer. I don't need your relationship. I need an answer. I need an answer. When I get my answer, I can get a relationship. When I get my answer, I can hold the job. When I get my answer, I will have self-esteem. When I get my answer, I will be okay. But I cannot not be okay without an answer. I gotta get my ears. I gotta get higher than this. It's still too low. I gotta get up. 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 I can't. 
got to get my answers. There's somebody here. Just, there's nobody up here with me. I'm all alone. I got people yelling at me down there that I've been up here too long waiting. They're trying to make me come down before I get my answer. The devils are distracting me. Demons of hell are distracting me, telling me that you don't need an answer. Just come back into my arms. You don't need an answer. Just come back to this addiction. You don't need an answer. Just go back into low self-worth. You don't need an answer. Just go back into depression. But that devil is a lie. I'm going to stay up here until God does for me what he said he was going to do. If he didn't say it, I wouldn't be believing for it. But since he said it, I got to have it. I got to have it. I got to have it. I said, I got to have it. I got, I got I got to have it. I want to tell you that no matter what stinky, rotten, unfair, unjust thing has gone on in your life or maybe is going on right now, if you will trust yourself and everything, that situation and yourself to God, God is a God of justice. And that means that God makes wrong things wrong right do you understand me it may not come in your timing but it will come you stay in the word you keep praying you keep agreeing with the word of God with your mouth you keep reaching out to other people and it is impossible for you not to get justice in your life because God is not a man that he should lie and the Bible says in Isaiah that God will give us double blessings for our farmer trouble I believe that I am doubly blessed today in my life because of the junk that I went through and the things that people did to me. God is a redeemer and a restorer and he gives us a twofold recompense for our farmer trouble. So whatever you're going through right now, don't let it make you bitter, but you just say, I've got a double blessing on the way. I've got a double blessing on the way. I'm gonna get double for my trouble, amen? double for my trouble Woo. I look at this tree and it should just get you so excited to think that you've got a double blessing coming in your life a double blessing coming in your life I mean our God is an awesome God and there's nothing that he cannot do there is nothing that God cannot do don't tell me he can't solve your problem. God is working. Men abused me and now God has given me a place of honor among men. And he will do that for you. It's almost impossible to believe that that could have happened to me. God is a God of justice. Amen. God is so good. You cannot have justice in your life until you let go of it. And part of letting go of it is stopping trying to figure it out. Do you understand me? I think that there's one kind of faith that gets what it wants and praises God. But I think it takes a whole nother level of faith to not get what you want and keep praising God. Amen. Jesus went through hard stuff. In Luke, we see what he went through in the garden. We see that his disciples betrayed him they abandoned him he was left alone there he even felt although he knew that he hadn't but I'm sure he felt in his whole being that even God had left him his father had left him if you can remove this cup from me God do but nevertheless your will be done <laughs> and not mine if you need me to drink it I'll drink it he died on the cross and if you I, I read the story fresh this morning I mean they were making fun of him they were laughing at him they were jeering at him and he died 
but right before he did not understanding anything he said into your hands I commit my spirit I would just love to see people today and people watching by TV come to the point of your life today where you say God I just I'm, I'm giving it all to you man I don't understand it but I'm tired of trying to figure it out I don't have any energy anymore to try to figure it out I mean that's just what I, I, I just don't even have the energy anymore to get upset about anything I spent enough of my energy getting upset about stuff and trying to make people do what I wanted them to and trying to fix this, trying to fix that. I don't have any time for that anymore. I'm just trusting myself and everything. And Jesus trusted himself and everything. And then three days went by, which probably felt like three lifetimes, but on Sunday morning, come on, on Sunday morning, that tomb was empty. And he said, go and tell my disciples, he is risen. There may be a time of the cross, there may be a time of the grave, but there always comes resurrection. You gotta go by Friday to get to Sunday. We all get excited about Sunday morning. Not too many people are excited on Friday. The day of crucifixion. What is your attitude while you're waiting? It's one thing to keep the commandments when you're getting what you want. It's another thing entirely to keep the commandments when nothing that you want seems to be coming your way. It's hard to keep the commandments when you see your, your friends and other people getting what you're believing God for. And sometimes you think, I'm a whole lot more spiritual than they are. <laughs> Come on. I do this and I do that and I do this. Well, maybe that's the very problem God's after. The self-righteousness. Do you know that sometimes God delights in doing something for somebody who absolutely does not deserve it in front of somebody who thinks they do deserve it? God is trying to take us through our wildernesses in life to bring us into a place of abundance. How long is it going to take you to get through your wilderness? A lot of it is up to you. It can be a short trip. It can be a long trip. Now there is God's timing and sometimes we can't do anything about that. But I do think a lot of times we make things a lot longer because we don't know how to do them right. I personally believe that Abraham and Sarah made the whole thing with getting Isaac a lot longer than it would have had to have been because they had to have Ishmael in the meantime. And if you don't know the story, God had promised them a child. They weren't getting it fast enough, so they got a bright plan. When you get so tired of waiting on God, you think if you have to wait one more day, you're just going to go completely mad you need to open your mouth and say God I will put my trust in you and I believe that your timing is perfect in my life and if I keep my trust in you there's no man in earth and no devil in hell that can keep me from having your will talk to yourself talk out loud to yourself you believe more of what you hear yourself say than, any, than anything you hear anybody else say it's called fighting the good fight of faith